And I just wanted to share with you some of the fun that I got to have. I went to the Amish produce auction, a couple from church, and a friend of theirs wanted to take me down there and show me the fun. And I purchased two flats of the biggest jalapeno peppers I've ever seen in my life. So I'm very excited about, obviously you can't eat this many jalapeno poppers in one day, but I'm going to freeze some. Um, I'm going to put some in the freezer. I'm excited about that. I think I can just cut them in half and freeze dry them and then rehydrate them and stuff them and I think they'll be fine. So I'm excited about that, but I want to show you what else I got. All right, so I wanted to show you what else I got while I was at the auction. The lady that I was with, she found a small box of cantaloupe and they knew I wanted cantaloupe, but I think there were maybe and in her box or something. So she gave me two cantaloupe for some jalapeno peppers. I think I got the better end of the deal, but she's always really good to me. Um, so that is really exciting. Then I want to show you what else I got. I about lost a cantaloupe and that would have been devastating. Okay. So there is a trick to buying at an auction like that, a produce auction, and it's an Amish produce auction, but they sell these things in large quantities, like the huge boxes of pumpkins, and I can't use that many, I can't give that many away, and I don't have the money to buy all of those. So Shane told me on the, before I left, he said, if you want something, just scope out who purchased it and go ask them if they'll sell you one. So that's what I did. And the man that bought these, I kept my eye on him, making sure I didn't miss him. And I think these are called One More Day Pumpkins, something like that. It's kind of a silly name. But I love the coloring. I thought it was so pretty. So I chased him down and asked him if he would sell me one. And he was very gracious and said, just don't take my biggest one. I said, I'll take your smallest one. Look how big it is. I love it. So he charged me like 50 cents more than he paid for. So it was very generous. I was very excited. And then another lady bought these. And so I went and asked her and she said, you can just have them. And I said, no, I want to pay you for them. So she said, well, I'll just charge you what I paid for them. So she gave me two of these. So I'm very excited. I'm going to use them for decorations. My porch is not decorated yet. I just set them down. But I'm going to use these for decorations and then I'm going to eat them. So for those of you who know, we try to only eat organic and stuff. I've heard that the Amish don't use chemicals. I don't know if they do or not. I have some really beautiful stuff from there. So hopefully they don't. If they do, it's not going to hurt me one time or whatever. It will be fine. And I'm going to pretend like they don't use anything to get this beautiful produce. So I just wanted to share with you my great purchases and thanks for watching. Sing a song. I once was lost in sin, <laughs> but Jesus took me in, and then the light from heaven filled my soul. I can't remember the song. I'm stressed out all along, and just a little scum from Jesus. Oh. How strong. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our struggles. Hear our faintest cry. And say,
whisper by and by. Now when you see the little fire will turn, know a little fire is burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. So I've never actually done it. But I've heard if you will talk to a skunk and actually get down on their level, you can actually walk up to a skunk in a foothold trap and get them out. Never done it, probably never gonna try that. This skunk was in a live trap. We found out, well, maybe that's what's been sharing dog food. I don't know, but obviously it was in here to eat dog food. And something's been getting in and out of the live trap without being caught. This is a small young skunk. We know what that probably means. But it was in there, and uh, I know that you can walk up to them real slow, cover yourself up with a blanket real slow, and just lay it down on there real peaceful. If you sing to them, talk to them. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't want to get sprayed by a skunk, so I'll try anything. And obviously that did work. I'm going to go over there real gently, and I'm going to try to pick that cage trap up and carry that cage out of here without it spraying. But if it does spray, praise the Lord now, it's under a tarp. It will not get me out of smelling like a skunk. I'm living proof of that in the past. But we're going to see how this works. Notice, Piper is not allowed to be loose right now. Piper, are you happy about this? <laughs> oh, calm. Let's see if we can get over here. Well, that was a successful ending to what could have been a catastrophe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Have a great night.